Well, Norco is a point and click adventure game with beautiful pixel art and incredible writing, so it's getting the headlines for all the right reasons at the moment due to its commentary on the environment and capitalism. If you don't mind reading, then this is a game you should definitely check out. You may remember point and click adventure games from the 90s Greats like Day of the Tentacles, Secret of Monkey Island, Grim Fandango, and many, many more. You know, great point and click adventure games never really went away. There's been some excellent releases recently, including Strange Land in 2021, Unavowed in 2018, and Lamplight City also in 2018. You know, it does feel like 2022 is having somewhat of a renaissance when it comes to these games getting some headlines, and Norco is definitely one of the main drivers of that trend. Well, Norco is a southern gothic narrative adventure that immerses the player in the sinking suburbs and the verdant industrial swamps of a distorted South Louisiana. Your brother Blake has gone missing in the aftermath of your mother's death. In the hopes of finding him, you must follow a fugitive security cyborg through the refineries, strip malls and drain his ditches of suburban New Orleans. So Norco is from developer Geography of Robots and one of the main writers, Yutz, originally comes from the real-life Norco which is most likely why the game feels so authentic. In the game, the story follows Kay, and she comes home to find her devastated brother mourning the death of her mother. Now, the game is set in the near future, a twisted post-apocalyptic America. Gangs with guns patrol the streets. Cities are run down and capitalism has run its course. Now, the game switches perspectives from Kay and her mother Catherine, although this is set in the past before she died. So Norco manages to examine and poke fun at modern-day problems like the gig economy, climate issues, and also rampant capitalism. Well, point-and-click adventure games tend to live and die through their puzzles, and often how obtuse they are. Over the years, the mechanics have been streamlined, and here in Norco, the puzzles definitely aren't too tricky. Thankfully, you won't get stopped in your tracks, so you're free to enjoy the story. You know, the team at Geography of Robots have managed to bring to life a cast of characters in this modern commentary on the world that we live in. You know, the drug dealer, the Airbnb guest all beautifully brought to life and larger than life. One of the main features of the game is a mind map system. It's a nice system to keep the story moving and it looks at the visualisation of Kay's choices and also memories. It's a decent visualisation of the game's major story beats, so if you're lost then the mind map is a good place to start to get you back into the flow. So it's a nice innovation in the point and click genre as the player delve deep into the mind, not only of Kay but of yourself. You know, other point and clicks have you walking around interacting with the environment and puzzles to get your bearings, so this can be a nice change of pace. Now, the wonderful thing that Norco does is make you look at your own surroundings. Given the main writer and designer of Norco is from the town itself, so you really get a sense that it's real, and the issues that are brought up in the game, like gentrification, gig economy, classes, all that kind of stuff, the game makes you examine not only Kay's relationship with Norco and Louisiana, but your relationship with where you live. Norco probably won't be for everybody, this is a very talky game rather than a dewy game and there's definitely lots of reading. You've got the character building and development, but for me it's a really good demonstration of some of the best writing in video games in 2022 and as a fan of point and click adventure games, I'm really really pleased to see a game like this getting the headlines and the column inches in 2022. Well the game was developed by Geography of Robots, it was published by Raw Fury, it's out on PC and Xbox and I reviewed it on Xbox Game Pass on PC, and it was originally released on the 24th of March, 2022. Well, that is it for my review of Norco, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.